The Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, the Kaduna State Chapter, has appealed to Governor Nasser El Rafai to review the lockdown imposed due to the coronavirus pandemic. The appeal by CAN comes after an earlier call by the Council of Imams and Ulamas on the state government for a review of the lockdown. CAN Chairman John Yahab, a reverend, in a statement issued on Tuesday, Kaduna appealed to El Rufai to consider relaxing the lockdown on Fridays and Sundays to allow both Muslims and Christians to worship in mosques and churches. He expressed the association's belief that the relaxation of the lockdown on those days would be used by adherents of both religions to achieve positive results. Joining us via telephone is Reverend Joseph Hayab, the Khan chairman in Kaduna State. Thank you for joining us on the news. God bless you. What has informed the call to relax the lockdown on Fridays and Sundays, seeing especially the increasing number of cases across the country? Okay, if you remember very well that uh, Kaduna State made her first official pronouncement about COVID-19 on the 20th of March. But earlier on the 19th, Khan leadership in Kaduna State have pleaded with pastors to stop or suspend all their large gatherings. We have been obeying government rules, understanding the challenge of COVID-19. Government have tested so many measures. In the beginning, we were asked to stay home completely. They later on relaxed it for Tuesday and Wednesday. Later, after some time, they move it to Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays, and then they relax it to Wednesdays and Saturday. Earlier this week, we got information that they have also moved it again to Wednesday, Thursday. Our understanding is that government is experimenting how best she can relax the COVID-19 lockdown. And we have just offered another way that government can relax this lockdown and make positive impact in the society. If you look at the observation of the, or the relax of lockdown on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday, you will see a great abuse of social distances. People in the market don't even respect social distances. The fact about it is that Hygiene is not observed. Not many of them even have face masks. Not so how, many of how, them how, have if, if you are hand concerned, sanitizers. Um, Reverend, sir, if you are concerned about the flagrant um, abuse of, of the use of face masks and the non-compliance with social distancing, how are you sure that if religious centers are opened, that these guidelines won't be strictly adhered to considering that some of these spaces are pretty small. Even when they are big, they cannot accommodate, um, um, and accommodate a limited number as specified uh, by the authorities. Okay, I want you to understand that one of the most organized institutions in our country is the church and the mosque. And one of the institutions that followers respect their leaders is the church and the mosque. I believe that pastors and imams will guide their people, will teach them to observe social distances. A situation where their church can accommodate 1,000 people. You don't need 1,000 people for a service. So you can make it 100 people. And you, when you put 100 people in a church that can accommodate 1,000, you can imagine how they will spread around that church. So we believe that we can effectively demonstrate what it means to observe social distance. Not to be we a skeptic, provide sir. Hand not, not to be a church. skeptic, sir, but there are concerns that it is the same citizens who are not obeying these orders that are members of churches and members of mosques. So if they cannot observe the orders as given by the government on an ordinary day, how are you convinced that they will indeed listen and do exactly what is instructed of them when they go for worship? Let me add to this that there is this erroneous understanding in Nigeria that everybody listens to radio, 
watch television as I'm doing now, and also read newspapers. I can assure you that the larger number of Nigerians don't have access to these things. Even if they do, because of the poor electricity supply in Nigeria, they, don't, uh, they won't find it. One group or one place that they can get proper education is the church and the mosque. So we are only saying, government, we want to help you. Sensitize people the more. Demonstrate how it should be done. Show them practically what you are asking them to do. Give us a chance and you will appreciate it. You will increase in knowledge for the people and you will see that people are happy also connecting with their God and praying for the country and praying for the situation. All right, let's so take this from another perspective. Let, let's take this from another perspective, Reverend. Uh, some religious leaders like yourself has expressed the view that a church isn't the building and that prayers can happen outside religious gatherings and even virtually as we have now. What is your view on this and its continuance? I quite agree with that because the scripture teaches that true worshippers will worship in truth and in spirit. So it must not be in a building. But the same Bible also said we should not neglect our coming together. So what we are simply doing now is we are contributing our quota to the experiment of the relaxing of lockdown. You have relaxed for market. It is not giving the good result. You have relaxed for vehicle, um, 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 commercial motors. It's not giving a good result. So we try the church and the mosque and use them to teach the people. So we are not saying something is wrong. We are only saying add another opinion. In medical practice, they used to say seek for an opinion. So we are saying this is another way we can do this and it may help us. So we are not fighting. We are simply suggesting another way. What, what, what assurances are you uh, given to the authorities to encourage them to reconsider and um, open up churches during uh, what you intend to do during these gatherings to ensure that safety measures will be strictly adhered to? One of the assurances we are giving is that our people listen to us. Our people obey us. Our people will do what we tell them. Look, when government announced the lockdown, people were skeptical, but we encouraged them to believe what the government is saying. Even those few pastors who violated the lockdown, we supported government to arrest them, and we encouraged government to prosecute them. We will not challenge that. That is to show if we are given this opportunity, we will do it more. It will help the government. It will stabilize the country. And the people will also have some freedom in practicing faith. Because a lot of people in this country believe seeking the face of God for healing. Yes, we are using our medical experts. Yes, we are listening to scientists. Yes, we are listening to government. We are adding now the voice of God. We are doing it at home, but we can also do the corporate one in the church with limited people. We can hold up to five different services in a day just to be sure that we respect social distances. So these and many others will now give government better understanding of what to do in the future. All right, Reverend, I'm afraid that's all time will permit us at this hour. Thank you very much for sharing uh, your thoughts with us. And we certainly hope that there will be a review. Thanks again. Very soon, we hope the next review will take consideration into our suggestion. And thank you for the opportunity to share our thoughts about this. You're most welcome, sir. God bless you.